Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi, or welcome if you're new. <laughs> my name is Lexi, and today's video is going to be my April TBR, or my April to be read books. Um, I have a decent stack here, I have a decent stack over there. These are going to be the ones that I kind of prioritize for the month, so I'm hoping that I'll get to these, um, kind of hoping I'll get to more. Honestly, uh, last month, March, was a great reading month for me. I have my um, March uh, wrap-up video that I should have gone up before this one. Um, so there was quite a few books. I think I was around 13 to 15. Um, so hoping to continue with that trend. Um, but if not, I'm not going to push myself too hard. So we're going to just kind of jump in and talk about the books I want to read. So the first book I am currently one chapter into <laughs> that I'm excited. This will be my first, second read of the month. I am reading right now um, Kitty Valentine Dates an Actor. I'm trying to finish the Kitty Valentine series by Jillian Dodd. So this will be my second read. But this is Love and Olives by Jenna Evans Welch. First of all, look at this cover. It is beautiful. I love it. Um, this book follows Liv. Um, in her uh, during her summer travels to Santorini to visit her estranged dad and help him with a National Geographic documentary. Um, I'm only one chapter in and so far it's good. One chapter. <laughs> but I love Jenna Evans Welch. I have read her, I read her first two last month, uh, Love and Gelato and Love and Luck. I love them. Um, I'm super excited for this book mainly because it's based in Santorini. I've been to Santorini. Santorini will hold a special place in my heart because I loved it. It's gorgeous. It's such an amazing place to visit. So um, this one I think I'm the most excited about. Um, yeah, it was just, it, it'll probably be a fast read just like her other books. But yeah, definitely excited for this one um, just to finish them. But yeah, it's such great book. Or, great book. I haven't even read it. Lord have mercy. Can you tell I just filmed my March wrap-up right before this video? <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited about it. Okay, next one. Um, I'm really late to the game, but because of booktube and Instagram and all that stuff, I decided to pick it up and try it. This is A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jump in and try it because I know I've always said that I haven't really wanted, never been a fan of jumping in and trying overly hyped series, but you know what? I'm trying to change that because I jumped on from Blood and Ash, that Blood and Ash train. Loved it. So who knows? I may love this. So I picked up the first one and I'm going to give it a shot because everybody seems to love it. Um, yeah, this follows... Fair? Fair? Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, but yeah, she... I'm not even going to go into detail. You probably know about this. But this will be hopefully one of my top prioritized read. Try to get that done and get going with the series. Like, I need to buy more books. But you know what? You can always buy more books. Okay, next. Um, I just got this book in the mail. Um, I pre-ordered it at Target. I feel like this book has been out, so I don't know why it was pre-ordered. Whatever, I picked it up in their paperback sale. Um, this is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is just very, very recommended. It is, everybody says it's such a cute little romance, a great romance. I know a lot of people that have rated this five star. Um, and I am a avid romance reader, so I couldn't pass it up. Um... This is Lucy Hutton and Joshua Templeton hate each other, not dislike, not begrudgingly tolerate hate. And they have no problem displaying their feelings through a series of ritualistic passive-aggressive maneuvers as they sit across from each other. Uh, executive assistants to the co-CEOs of the publishing company, Lucy can't understand Joshua's joyless, uptight, meticulous approach to his job. Joshua is clearly baffled by Lucy's overly bright clothes, 
quirkiness and Pollyanna attitude. Not up for the same, or now up for the same promotion, their battle of wills has come to a head, and Lucy refuses to back down when their latest game uh, could cost her her dream job. But the tension between Lucy and Joshua has also reached its boiling point, and Lucy is discovering that maybe she doesn't hate Joshua, and maybe he doesn't hate her either, or maybe it's just another game. So super, super cute, sounds like enemies to lovers book, so pretty excited about that one. Okay, next. Um, I've had this on my TBR for a while and um, I finally picked it up. I got it from Book Outlet for like really, really cheap. I think it was like six bucks. But I picked up American Royals by Catherine Mc McGee. McGee reminds me of NCIS. Um, <laughs> but this book sounded great and um, has good reviews. Uh, so this uh, follows when America won the Revol Revolutionary War, its people offered General George Washington a crown. Two and a half centuries later, the House of Washington still sits on the throne. So this is as if America had a royal family. And so this one follows two princesses who are the one obviously the heir and the spare and they're both vying for Prince Jefferson's heart. Sounds pretty interesting. Um, I think it'll be interesting to read about if America had a royal family. Um, I do enjoy learning and you know keeping up with the British royal family so who knows maybe this will be a fun way for America to have their own royal family. I don't know. So I thought that sounded cute. Okay, next on my TBR, um, I read Bridgerton, The Duke and I last, so not even Bridgerton, I read The Duke and I by Julia Quinn last month. So I'm hoping to get the Viscount Who Loved Me in this month. This is the second book of the series, which is what season two is going to be based off of on the TV show on Netflix. This is going to follow Anthony Bridgerton, which is the oldest brother in the Bridgerton family. Um, kind of his romance story and how he falls in love, who he marries, do 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 So this is Anthony's story. So um, yeah, I wanted to pick this up. I did enjoy The Duke and I, so I figured I would probably enjoy The Viscount, who loved me because Anthony honestly was one of my favorite characters from The Duke and I and Bridgerton, just his character. I don't know. He was just he was funny but protective and I don't know. I enjoyed him so I'm, I'm hoping that I'll enjoy his story. <laughs> Next is uh, Get a Life Chloe Brown. I decided to pick this up in my March's um, Book of the Month uh, box and uh, this is very very hyped but I couldn't pass it up because it is such a very very well recommended romance book. This follows Chloe Brown who um, has some sort of illness or had some sort of illness or disease where she almost lost her life and so she decides that now that she's come out of it and she's ready to live her life she's gonna live it to the fullest and um, start doing things that she never thought she would do. I've heard that it's steamy um, and it's interesting. I do like the books, um, these kind of books where you know they're you almost lose your life or you know that you're going to due to cancer or some some kind of thing like that and they just they really enjoy everything they do they take everything to the fullest in these stories and um yeah i just think that these are some great stories because they really really are enjoying what they're doing because they know how precious life is so i'm excited to read this excited to get into this romance and see what it everybody's talking about because i know there's a few more after this and i'm gonna have to dive into those as well Okay, next is Too Good to Be True by Carola Lovering. This one was my top pick from my March TBR, or TBR, my March Book of the Month Club. Lord have mercy. This follows Skye, who gets in, uh, engaged to Burke, um, but she doesn't know that he is actually already married and has a life, so she's technically the mistress. But then also has a third point of view of, I believe it's Heather, which was his girlfriend from like 17 years prior or something. 
something like that because Burke is older than Skye um, but it kind of flashes back to Heather's perspective and how Burke was a bad boy and you know she wants to break up with him but is she able to leave him in the past so this is considered um, suspense slash thriller so I'm hoping that this will actually be a good thriller slash suspense and um, I'm excited for this. It'll be interesting. I, I'm liking the three different perspectives that we're going to see in this book. So hopefully this will be pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that one. And then this was my third choice and third pick for my March book of the month. This is In a Book Club Far Away by Tiff Marcello. The cover is gorgeous. I love it. I love the details. Just, I don't know. So cute. Okay, this follows a group of friends who are military wives and they had a book club and all this stuff, but something happened and they weren't there. There, something happened and there was some kind of betrayal or friendship fell out and they're no longer friends, but something happens to one of them and the other ones are forced to come back to kind of help and they're having to figure out what happened. Is there a way to move forward? Is there a way to fix the friendship? So sounded like a good, you know, plot, good basis of the story. So I'm hoping to give this uh, a shot and pick it up. So I think I'm gonna be always behind on my book of the month called books and just read them the next month, not even the month I get them. So I don't know, I'm supposed to actually get my book of the month for April today, so pretty excited about that. I may throw one of those into this month because I'm just really excited about it. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna do, I guess this video hasn't as long as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm gonna throw in some like honorable mentions or ones I hope to get to. So I'm hoping to finish the Kitty Valentine series this month. I'm really hoping to. Kitty Valentine I can pretty much blow through pretty quickly. So I'm hoping to finish that series because I've just been working on it and I kind of put it on the back burner for a couple months now and I think it's time for me to finish it. Um, the other, let's say, I'm gonna probably throw this one in here. Um, this is the San uh, Sanitarium by Sema Pe or Sema. Sarah Pierce. <laughs> this one I think I want to throw on there um, if I can, if I can get to it. I think that I definitely want to, but I don't know because I don't really have any other thrillers, so I don't know if I want to throw it in with that one, if that one's supposed to be a thriller, because I have a lot of romance on the shelf, a lot of romance. So maybe throw in a another romance, but I don't know. This is a possibility. I guess for the rest, I'm going to kind of mood read and see if this is kind of fitting into it, if I want to save this for later, but the sanitarium is definitely on my list. Um, yeah, it sounds really good, so I'm definitely going to throw that on my list. I'm going to move my TBR thing up here so I can just easily reach it. And let's see, what other one could I possibly throw in that I want to read? Hmm... I'm going to say this one. I think I'm going to, this is going to be one that I'm going to throw on there just in case. Um, this is going to be The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye, Ray. Um, this one. So this one, I don't know. I don't even know what it's about, but it is The Right Swipe, and I loved the social media aspect of Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. So I think I want to give this a try because it just... I don't know. The right swipe makes me think of Tinder. I met my husband on Tinder and um, had great experiences. So yeah, I think that I'm going to give this a shot. Um, this says, Rhiannon Hunter may have revolutionized romance in the digital world, but in real life she only swipes right on her career and the occasional hookup. The cynical dating app creator controls her love life with a few key roles. Rules. Nude pics are by invitation only. If someone stands you up, block them with extreme prejudice. Protect your heart. Only there aren't any rules to govern her attraction to her newest match. Former pro football player Samson Lima, the sexy and seemingly sweet hunk, woos her one magical night and then disappears. Uh, Re thought she'd burn, buried her hurt over Samson, ghosting her until he suddenly resurfaces months later, still big, still beautiful, and in league with a business rival. He says he won't fumble their second chance, but she's wary. A temporary physical partnership in one thing uh, is one thing, but a merger of hearts, surely that's too high a risk. 
sounds fun, sounds cute, sounds like a typical romance book, but I'm excited. So I'm going to throw this as a possible contender. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there and not, um, do too big of a TBR because who knows, this could be a very slow month and I just don't read as much. We'll see. Um, but yes, so if you guys have any recommendations or if you guys have read any of these books, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you stick around. So please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.